today i'll be showing you how you can perfectly insert pictures into shape right and pixel app so kind of wait to the end of today's video again to learn the a to z on how you can perfectly insert pictures into shapes just like you can see right here on my screen can, can you see how i was able to perfectly insert this picture into the ship without it adding extra pixels or adding extra or uh, extra picture into the ship so if you want to learn how to do it send it to the end of today's video guy if you are new to the channel please like this video subscribe to the channel and at the end of this video make sure you share this video to one person or the other to see this kind of video now let's get right into how we can do this so i'm using this as a guide on how we can do so let me just put this tab onto this side so i'll first show you the errors most designers do on pixel app whenever they want to have something like this so let me show you the error so bringing a shape like this let me show you the first error people do so let's for example you have a shape like this what most people would do anytime they want to add pictures into this shape is that they will go over to uh, texture and take it they will go click on that stuff and it will take them to your gallery and when they want to select a picture let's say they want to use this picture over here this is what they will do and they will click on okay and they will ultimately end up with having these two pictures like this so this is the errors most people usually get anytime they want to put pictures into shape right on pixel lab and today i'll be showing you how you can rightly do it like this and not to have this kind of result so to do that to do that now get in bring in your shape bring in your shape make sure you have resized to the exact stuff you have make sure you resize them to the kind of stuff you are let's say you want to work with the project and this is what you want to put it and make sure you've resized your shape just like this now so when you are done if you want to increase the radius you can do it and you can do what you like so when you have done the shape go over to texture which is on this show prep so you can enable the texture if you are not on this middle one so just go over this texture and click on this picture it will take you to your gallery and you get to select the kind of picture you want to insert into the shape for example i want to use this picture over here so when i get to this stage i don't click on this check mark no i won't click on this one if i click on this check mark like this it's going to give me the same results we did earlier for you to get perfectly for you to fit perfectly into that shape let me show you the first second you, you need to work with all this shape right here you need to work with one that you think that you think is like more accurate with the shape you selected for example this one is more or less is like oh is going to fit in into the shape we selected earlier before we select the texture so you can just resize do a little bit of stuff to it and just take it to the place one in the show can you see what we have here so if you have this don't be scared don't be scared there's still something else you can do so still on that texture when you get to that texture you can do on this you can click on this enable mesh ratio maintain ratio but if you do it it's going to distort the, the image so i don't advise to do that you can go over to this scale when you go over to this scale, can you see what we have over here can you see what we have over here and you can also crop the shape you can crop the shape crop the shape like this and you can you see what we have over here? you can work with this can you see what we got over here so this is one of the ways you can do it you this is one of the ways you can do it and you have a amazing stuff right on pixel lab so let's try this one out also go over to shape go over to shape pick on your shape and when you have your shape like this you can reduce the shape size reduce the shape size like this and if you want to reduce the radius or leaves like that you can easily have that so click on okay now this one is more like the simpler one go over to texture go select the picture you want to insert into the shapes like this one over here now so there's nothing you don't need to uh really re-scrub but if you feel you can recrop you can leave it at this square and just recrop like this and when you have something like this you have something like this so this is this one is even more easier but let's take it even more deeper go over to shape again and now uh, go select reduce the radius let's give it this kind of feeling so reduce the radius and you can take it to something like of uh, 10 5 so let's leave it at 10 reduce the size like this reduce the size like this and um you have something like this so go over to texture now go over to texture and select this when you select this now tell the pictures you want to use and you can record like me now and you will have something like this you will have something like this you will have something like this so this is how this is being done this is how being done how you can perfectly insert something like this. so let me delete all this stuff and so i can even show you more amazing thing like this for example if you want to use the pictures that is a little bit uh taller so for example let's use this picture i want to show use this picture to emphasize a point right on this picture that you have you want to work with something like this let's say you have two pictures you want to work with and you copy it like this 
so i copy it like this now so just take it to the mid uh, centralize and um centralize so click on this first image and go over to that test tray again go over to that station select the picture select the picture and let's say you want to work with this same picture again so here is where the trick is can you see just like i said earlier you need to work with all this stuff you need to first visualize you need to know the kind of shape you are working with and you need to select something similar like this to record it right on this page before you click on this thing like this so remember the shape we select earlier for this picture i think it's something like this it's something like this it is now your part for you to crop and walk around it walk around it crop and walk around it do it like this. let me see what it's going to bring for us but let me just okay let me leave it like this let me see the result is going to uh, bring for us and we have something like this so if you have something like this you are not good with it also go over to this scale go over to this scale and rescrop go over to this scale and recrop or better still reselect that picture better still reselect that picture and you just walk around it till till it come out great for example you can click on this lock mark and you can even recrop like this yourself you can recrop it like this if you select okay let's see what is going to be okay it's getting better so let's reselect the picture again reselect the picture again over here when you reselect it will take you and you get to even recrop so this is the picture over here so you get to recrop it like this to make sure you unlock it and then um, you get to recrop yourself you get to recrop yourself if you need to reduce the horizontal eyes you have to reduce it if you need to uh, increase it it is left to you so this is how you just continue to do it to so get a perfect you get a perfect stuff right on oh sorry we made a mistake so let's redo it again so we have to do it like this recrop like this recrop like this and done um, and just walk around walk around it and now uh, can you see what we have so you can just use this scale button use the scale button or use this top button if you use this top it's going to all uh, distort your it uh, it's going to uh re destroy the ratio but i would advise to always go with this so i'll just let me let's get a perfect stuff for this thing i'm not okay with what is giving me so i'll just do it like this do it like this and leave it let's see what it's going to bring uh -huh. can you see what we have here now i think i'm good with this so we'll go over to this stage and click on this enable can you see what we have here now so now i can use this picture again and let me let me go on this picture and let me select what i want so let me use another different picture you can even use let me use this my picture over here now you know these places where you get to or uh, where you get to walk around this stuff so this is what we have over here so i can work with this let's see what it's going to give me a hand so i'm good with it i love this i love this so this is how you can do this can you see this how all this project all the stuff have been done right on pixel lab so you can use as many pictures as you have so you just make sure you go back to the station and you begin to resize it from here or reselect it till you get your package so this is how you can perfectly insert pictures into shapes right in pixel lab so this is the end of today's video tutorial guide if you are new to this channel please like this video subscribe to the channel and make sure you share this video to your creative friends thank you for watching this video to this moment see you at the next video